Hey, you want to be a better Stitches player? That's what I'm going to teach you right about now on Mistakes Newbies Make. As a Stitches, you are the initiator. You would be the one pulling in an enemy hero which will result in a team fight because your opponents will rush in to save their teammate. Your hook, if used right, will pull heroes out of position and allow for easy kills. So your job is to be as annoying as possible. While he can do some nice damage, your role is mostly to be a tank and to have your fat ass get in the way so your healer can stay alive. Let's talk about Stitches' hook first. It's pretty obvious that you can pull an enemy hero into your turret or pull someone who is running away to pick up the kill, but let me ask you something. How often has this happened to you? You see an enemy you would like to kill, so you try to pull the hero towards you, but then this happens. This is the most common mistake new Stitches players make. To avoid this, keep track of where the enemy is in relation to the enemy minions, and position yourself above or below where the minions are so your hook can hit the target. Another way to be extremely annoying, besides texting her for the fifth time even though she stopped replying three days ago, is to pull an enemy hero away from the objective. You can even use your belly to body block and trap your opponent, just make sure you have a teammate there to help you. And finally, two quick things about your hook. Remember that you can use it to pull giants into turret range, but more importantly, be mindful of who you're pulling with your hook. Or to put it another way, don't pull their tank. Come on, newbies. Stop pulling the tank or the first hero you see. Who you should be pulling is a healer or high damage but weak defense heroes on their team. And then your teammates can easily pick up the kill and win the rest of the team fight. So pay attention, position, and aim accordingly. I'd like to rapidly note for you some things about his other abilities. With Slam and Devour, if you're being chased, you can turn around and use one to give you an extra second to escape. And with Putrid Bile, you can use it to clear heavy minion waves or clear merc camps like the Knights. And I'm sure that you are aware you can walk up to someone that is a little too close to your base, gorge them, and let your base finish them off. These are all great abilities, but it is when you use them in combination with your hook that they really start to become great. So with that being said, I'd like to discuss some of the combos that you should be learning with Stitches. The easiest one is simple Q then R. As you can see in this clip, I grab a hero with a hook, then have a snack. I'm going to vomit them back behind my wall so they cannot escape. Most heroes cannot leap back over the wall, so it's usually a free kill. Once you've mastered the QR combo, you can start to add additional moves to the moveset. This clip showcases QRE and just so happens to be how I deal with Sergeant Hammers. In the game, I have increased range for my hook, so I Q hammer in towards me, gorge her, walk behind the base, then E to receive another regeneration counter before she is killed. And even more complex still, if timed correctly, you can have WQRW. However, you'll notice I'm not hitting a hero with this W, but you can still imagine a scenario in which this can be useful. So after you slam the enemy hero, you use your Q to pull them toward you. Allow an auto attack to hit first, then gorge. The auto attack gives another second for your W to recharge and does that little extra damage. When you spit the hero out, your W should be ready for the finishing blow. Knowing when to gorge can be hard for new players. In this example, I misplayed by gorging when I didn't need to, and it led to me being put way out of position. Here I am 2v1ing another Stitches. We are winning the fight, but then I gorge. The Tassler and I can no longer put damage on the enemy hero, and it gives his ally a chance to come to the rescue. And as further insult to injury, he gorges me back, and now I'm the one way out of position. A better play would have been to position myself closer to my fort, try to hook the stitches toward my turrets, and then try to gorge him behind my walls. Bear in mind when you gorge someone, your belly's direction is facing before you vomit. It can make all the difference. See, this Nazibu has to walk all the way around my badunk dunk in order to escape. Had I continued to walk down the lane instead, he would have likely been able to escape. Also keep in mind that when you hit level 20, you can start eating more than one hero. This can be incredibly useful in taking out multiple heroes from a fight or stealing a key objective. With Biogas, position is even more important. Here my teammates are calling for a retreat. The enemy team chases, which I respond by using my ult. I position myself in front of the enemy heroes so they have to walk into my gas in order to chase my teammates. This caused massive damage to their entire team, even with a lily around to heal. Because of how I positioned myself and the way I moved so the gas affects them all, as opposed to sitting and attacking, I was able to pick up a double kill. In contrast, here the enemy team is retreating and I use my bio gas. The gas cannot hit any of the enemies because I'm out of position. They are able to escape gas free. That should be enough so you're no longer a noob. All of the footage you saw was taken directly from my Twitch stream, so go ahead and follow me there. Hit that subscribe button too because I'm doing every hero. Next up, I'm doing Nezabu.